Hello friends, welcome to this week's um, live unboxing slash product demo slash shop updates. There's lots going on and lots to share with you all. Hello, thank you for joining in. Um, so I've got lots and lots to cover. Um, I have started posting these videos onto YouTube so that if you don't catch them on Instagram, you can watch them over there. Um, so if you're running across this video on YouTube, my name is Claudia. I'm the owner of Snuggly Monkey, um, and I do these weekly lives to open up the boxes of restock that show up here um, pretty much all the time, um, and then also give you shop updates, product demos, all sorts of things, whatever's happening that week. So a uh, couple exciting things happened this week. So yesterday, um, hey, Sue, <laughs> I'm glad you caught it live today. Um, Yesterday, the registration for the winter session of classes began, which was very exciting. Um, there are still spots in most of the classes. The only one that's full is next week. Sashiko 101 is full, um, but everything else still has some spots available in it. So um, the classes that I'm going to be offering uh, this winter are the Intro to Sashiko, which is the Sashiko 101. Um, and we work on this sampler, and I go over um, everything you need to get started with Sashiko from the very beginning. So whether um, if this is something that you have been wanting to try, wanting to learn, um, or you've done a little bit but would like to learn more, it's kind of a great general overview class. Um, for the winter, I'm going to keep doing these via Zoom, and the plan going forward is that I will offer both Zoom and hopefully in person um, very soon, but all the winter classes are on Zoom um, and they all the dates and times that you see on there are Eastern Standard Time. So North Carolina, New York time zone um, is where. Do you have a YouTube video of the Sashiko? Um, I don't have a YouTube video of the Sashiko. There is, um, it's a great class. I learned so much. Thank you, Robin. Um, I'm really glad that you found it helpful. Lots of folks seem to enjoy the class. Um, it's a lot of fun to teach. It's about an hour and a half long. Um, so I don't have YouTube videos on the Sashigo class, but something that um, I have been working on um, and hopefully will come out this year is I will be offering a Sashigo 101 as an on-demand video class, like the Bodo Scarf class that I have. Um, so you'll be able to view it, it'll be yours, uh, you'll be able to watch it as much as you like. Um, I'm working on that because that filming and all that stuff sound, um, takes a little while. So, But hopefully that'll be up later on this year. So for now, they are Zoom classes. Um, all of the Zoom classes will be recorded um, and you'll be able to watch them for about seven to 10 days after the class is done. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on. So we've got Sashiko 101. Um, I'm also doing a session of Sashiko 102, uh, which is the Sashiko class that goes into the Hitome Zashi and Kuguri Zashi styles of Sashiko. So the one stitch, which is kind of the more dense designs, and the stitch and weave. Um, that is a two-part class. It takes place on a Tuesday and a Thursday evening so that you have enough time um, to prep your sampler to do the Kuguri Sashi part. So the um, Sashiko 102 is out there. I'm doing the um, Japanese rice pouch class again. Um, and this one is also a two-part class. It takes place over two Saturdays. Uh, we go over in the first one, how to make your exterior panel in the Boro style. Um, in the second one, we sew them all together into these adorable little pouches. So that class is happening. Um, the Sashiko a zipper pouch class is happening. My friend Sudi Laura is coming back and uh, she's going to be doing this class again on how to turn your Sashiko samplers. So if you have, you know, stacks of these samplers like I do and you're always wondering what to do with them, you have enough pillows, you have enough bags, um, Sudi is going to uh, be teaching this class again on how to take the samplers and turn them into these adorable little bags. Um, if you've never had the pleasure of taking a class with Sudi Laura before, she is an incredible, incredible um, teacher. Uh, she, um, we used to have a local quilt shop uh, here in Chapel Hill called Thimble Pleasures. She worked over there. Um, I took tons of classes with her um, over there and she's just a lovely, lovely human being. So um, Sudi's class is gonna be in April on how to do the zipper pouches and the, um, 
the and then there's a new club that I've been talking about for a little while, the Pocket Club. It's a book and stitch club. Um, we're going to do this over four months, starting in February on uh, Friday evenings, uh, and we're going to read the pocket, um, and then we're going to work on stitching our own pockets. So um, it's just a fun, casual club, um, nothing stressful. The uh, each month, if you go look at it on the website, you'll see that each month. Um, I've divided it so like in February we'll talk about um, chapters one and two and then in uh, March we'll do three and four and so on to kind of break it down. Um, and you can purchase the pattern, um, the Kara Stevens pattern for how to create a hand stitch tie on pocket is in the shop so um, you can purchase that if you'd like. And the pocket, this book is um, currently being reprinted. So it's out of stock on um, a lot of your favorite booksellers, but there are used copies available. I put a link in the listing to where you can find some used copies. Libraries have it. So um, if you're interested in joining us, uh, there's that as well. So that's going on. Um, those are all the classes that are up so far. I am um, putting the finishing touches on one more class, which is going to be an intro to embroidery class. Um, that's going to be happening in March. We're going to be using um, this Olympus Lesson 1 embroidery kit, uh, and we will be going over all the basics of hand embroidery. So all that stuff, um, really exciting. I'm really excited to have the classes back and to be teaching again. Um, like I said, for right now, everything is staying on Zoom, but my hope is actually that um, by April, March, late March, April, I'll be able to start offering some in-person classes as well. So that'll be really exciting. Uh, the other big announcement is that the dates for Open Studio are now available. Um, this is posted on our Facebook page as well as um, on the website itself under the Contact Us tab. So um, starting next Thursday uh, from 1 to 7, you can, are welcome to come on by the studio. The door will be open, um, no appointment needed, and, um, and you're welcome to shop. So I'm going to try to start offering about two days a month uh, like that, that you don't need appointments. You can just come on in. I'm going to be going for probably a Thursday evening and then um, Saturdays. So in February, you've got next Thursday from 1 to 7, and then Saturday, February 19th from 10 to 5. Um, so if you're in the area uh, and you'd like to stop by, I would love to see you. So come on by and say hello. Um, and like I said, I have started posting these uh, videos on YouTube and I had uh, Kristen ask a question about if I had any, well, she was watching the video that I did on the Zip It pouches and she asked if I had any videos about the Flatty project bags. Um, which I'm pretty sure I did back when I introduced these a couple years ago, but I couldn't find it. So I figured I would just um, give you guys a quick look at the flatties because I talk about these so much. Um, so this is the flatty project bag. It comes in two sizes. Uh, this is the larger size, and then there is a smaller size as well. Um, so these are fantastic little project bags. You can fit up to a seven inch embroidery hoop in here. It has a magnetic closure so it keeps it nice and secure they're really nice and flat they're nice and slim the gusset goes out to just under an inch so you can put a variety of things I've got a hoop in here some thread bobbins scissors um, and then the cool part is that it also has this flat this cardboard hard surface on the back with a little slip pocket so you can keep your patterns and papers back in here. It's just a really nice little handy travel project bag. The big clear window lets you easily see what's inside. And inside of here where my um, scissor pouch is slipped into, there are these uh, clear plastic pockets, slip pockets on the inside as well. So you can put other um, little supplies and stuff inside of there. So the large size can fit, like I said, up to a um, seven inch hoop fits in here. And then in the smaller size, this works really well for Sashiko supplies as well, where you just have the, um, the folded up sampler, but you can get up to a four inch embroidery hoop um, inside of here. Same thing, it has the um, slip pocket in the back, the magnetic closure, um, and those are the flatty bags. These work really well together if you're a car stitcher like I am um, because this gives you a nice flat surface a hard flat surface and then if you have your zip it bag that ha opens up 
and stays open like a tray, then you can work in the car um, and you've got a nice flat surface to keep everything and you've got all your tools and supplies right here. So the two bags together work really nice um, if you are a travel stitcher. So keep that in mind. All of these are in stock. The flatty comes in six or seven different colors. Um, these are the regular, the original flatties, um, and the flatty works, which I had before and then kind of lost my distributor, but I found a new one again. Um, the flatty works are made of waxed canvas fabric instead of the um, heavy gauge vinyl. So the, um, and their gusset is a little bit wider. It opens up to about an inch and a quarter. Um, so the flatty works will be back in stock um, probably in about two or three weeks. I'm expecting that delivery to get here. So uh, the Flatty Works are on their way if you liked those, if you liked the waxed canvas um, instead and the slightly larger gusset, those will be back soon. Um, but th these come in, I think, six or seven different colors um, and the same with the smaller size ones. So those are the Flatty Bags. Hope that helped, Kristen. Um, and I think that's all the updates I have. So now let's start opening boxes because I've got four big boxes um, that just got here and there's I'm expecting several more to get here today and tomorrow um, there's a lot of fun fun stuff on the way so this box is from Allison Glass um, I know I had a couple folks uh, message me asking when the Allison Glass Pearl cotton sets were coming back they're back um, so that's what's in this box is lots and lots and lots of pearl cotton both um, the sets are in here and I believe all of the um, individual yeah they're at the bottom all the individual colors um, to refill the big uh, cabinets are in here as well if you have not stitched with Wonderfill yet um, this is a size 8 pearl cotton and um, I had always, because the quilt shop uh, that I mentioned earlier, Thimble Pleasures, they carried Finca. And so when I started quilting, that was really what I was most familiar with. And I didn't really experiment too much. Um, and Finca is fantastic. It's a great uh, pearl cotton, really sturdy, works great for uh, hand quilting and uh, tying quilts, all that good stuff for embroidery, all that. Um, Wonderfill, I really like Wonderfill quite a bit. Um, it is very, I, every time I talk about this, I talk about how soft and fluffy it is, um, because it is. And I should have saved a, um, next time I'll grab a uh, Finca one to put them side by side so you can see that this is, it's just, it's, it's softer, it's fluffier. Um, the Allison Glass colors are vibrant and beautiful. I just, I love walking past that cabinet every day. It's so inspiring. So um, if you haven't tried, Hey, Emily, how are you? Thank you for saying hello. Um, it must be, if it is this cold here in North Carolina, Vermont must be freezing right now. <laughs> um, so if you haven't had a chance to try out the Wonderful colors, um, you might think about giving those a shot. There are four different uh, color sets if you want to buy them in sets, or I have um, all the colors, all the Allison Glass colors as individual um, things as well. All right, so that's what's in that box. Next one, these boxes are going to have a whole bunch of different stuff <laughs> in them. Um, I have been busy this week moving things around in here uh, because it is, there is a lot of new stuff that's coming in, so I'm making room um, for all this new stuff. So in here we have a big restock of the Cosmo Hidamari Sashiko thread. This is the really, um, this is about the same weight as Olympus Sashiko thread, which is similar to a size eight pearl cotton, kind of a medium weight. Um, it comes on these cute little spools, so you don't have to braid it. You just pull it off the spool um, and you start stitching. Um, there's 44 different colors, I believe, um, 20 solids, and the rest are really interesting variegated colors. So um, that's this is a restock of those. There's also a restock of the Cosmo Nishikito. Uh, the metallic thread is in here as well. The very popular uh, fine liner, friction fine liner six packs are back. 
um, friction pens. If uh, you haven't worked with these, these are uh, heat erasable pens. So you can draw on these uh, on fabric uh, and then iron over it and the ink disappears. Um, as always, whenever I talk about these pens, there is a chance that um, the markings can reappear in really cold uh, weather, cold situations. So you wouldn't want to use these in like heirloom quilting or anything like that. But um, in embroidery for marking up uh, or designing an embroidery pattern, they are fantastic because those lines are going to get covered with your embroidery thread anyway. So even if they did happen to reappear, you're not going to see them because it's going to be covered by um, by the pen, by your thread rather. So um, the this is the this gives you a really the fine liner gives you a really nice thin line um, for drawing out embroidery designs. And this is new um, and not in the shop yet, but there's now a 12 pack um, as well. So you have every color um, you can think of to create your patterns. I use friction pens all over the place. I use them in, when I'm sewing, uh, when I'm quilting. And embroidery they are super duper duper heavy um, all right so here we've got more of the Cosmo Hidamari threads uh, we've got some of the scissor cases are in here um, like I said this is just kind of a jumble of all sorts of things so these are the little um, scissor sheaths they are they are not um, they're not leather they, they look like leather but they're not leather so um, if you uh, don't like using animal products, um, these are not leather, but they look like it um, and they're really lovely and they fit most embroidery scissors um, fit in here really nice. And they come in six different colors, red, pink, purple, green, black, um, I think I'm missing one, but that's what's in here. Let's see. We've got some scissors, some of the rabbit scissors um, are in here. And the, uh, oh, the Bowen Milliner needles are in here as well. These are, this is the pack of just size ones. Um, Milliner needles, if you uh, like doing knot embroidery, so French knots, bouillon knots, all that kind of stuff, Milliner needles work really, really well for those stitches. Um, Milliners have, the eye is pretty much the same size as the shaft and they have a decent size. The number ones have a decent sized eye as well, so you can get that pearl cotton through there, um, several strands of embroidery floss. Because the eye is pretty much the same size as the rest of the needle, uh, pulling the, the needle through for French knots and such is much easier. You don't get that little bump uh, that you do with other kinds of embroidery needles. So that's what milliner needles are for. And um, I have become a huge fan of Bowen, um, Bowen needles. That's pretty much what I am embroidering with uh, these days. So I really like that that brand. Um, what else is in here? We've got some of the Sue Spargo uh, templates uh, are restocked in here, and the Foxglove Cottage embroidery needle sampler pack. Um, and you said size one. Yes, the ones that I showed you are the size one. I have the size one, which is like the the biggest one, um, and it's the one that I find most comfortable. Um, but I also do have a milliner sampler pack from one to seven, I think, um, is what's in that pack. So if you want to try different um, lengths, try the, the, um, the sampler pack. Uh, but that one that I just showed you is the size one. That's the one that I, I use the most often and that I like the most. But everybody has different. <laughs> what works for you is what's most important and what works best for your hand size. You are welcome. Um, so these are the Foxglove Cottage Embroidery Needle Sampler Set, um, and these are lovely needles from England, um, and you get a uh, to try out different sizes of embroidery needles. So that's what is in here. Yeah. Last night I found a new um, distributor that I want to add some of their stuff into the shop and I was showing my girls some of the stuff and if you all could have heard the squealing and oh my god that's so cute giggling um, I'm really excited to get that stuff because they're right it is super cute all right so this box looks super full of lots of Cosmo floss so there's lots of uh, 
Cosmo restocking going on in here. We've got some of the uh, needle, magnetic needle cases are in here that say stay sharp. Um, this is just to store your needles. You can store a little embroidery. There's a magnet on the inside, uh, so it keeps all of your stuff in place. Let's see. And this is lots and lots of clover items are in here. Um, this is the embroidery needle threader, which just sold out because it's been really popular uh, lately. Uh, that's what it looks like. Um, I talk about this a lot uh, because it's probably my favorite needle threader out there. Um, Heidi Parks yesterday did a reel uh, on um, how to thread a needle. She is not a big fan of needle threaders, so she um, was doing different methods of just using her finger or the method with a little piece of paper. Um, I, the, my fingers and these eyes are not working so great for um, for those kinds of methods anymore. So this is a lifesaver for me. Um, the they do, it does not work with needles that have really tiny eyes. So beading needles, applique needles, things like that. You are going to need either a micro hook style or a filament style threader. But for most embroidery needles, the milliner needles, all that kind of stuff, this works great. Um, it has a slightly thicker metal piece um, to be able to pull your thicker pieces of embroidery thread, yarn, pearl cotton, um, sashiko thread, all of that stuff. Um, hello, Kim, thank you. <laughs> um, all of that stuff, uh, it, it works really well. and. I have had mine for probably, I don't know, many, many, many years and I've never broken it. Whereas the filament style ones, I tend to pull too hard um, and I break those pretty easily. So the embroidered needle thetter, um was out of stock, but it's back and there is a ton of them in here. Just got my first pair of reading glasses, going to need that. Yes, um, something else that I am. So if you've noticed, the shop kind of evolves and is highly influenced by what's going on. Um, in my life and uh, I'm starting to look for a good source for a magnifier and um, light source. Uh, you know, there's so many different kinds and so I'm trying out different ones to see what might work better. Um, so keep an eye out, that's coming, um, different kind of magnifiers. These are um, the Clover marking pencils. Um, I use these all the time, again, not just for sashiko, I use these when I'm sewing, marking stencils, um, all that good stuff. And this um, washes away with water um, once you're done using it. So, um, oh my goodness, there's so many tiny little boxes in here. There's the sashiko thimble is in here, the metal thimble um, is in here. What else do we have? Oh, wonder clips are in here. Oh, these are new. Um, I will try to get these up as soon as I can. These are uh, assortment packs of Wonder Clips so that you can try out all three, the jumbo, the medium, and the micro size. Um, so these are assortment packs of the, um, the Wonder Clips. Um, I use Wonder Clips all over the place. If you've actually come into the studio, you'll see Wonder Clips on the shelves because I use them to hold up um, embroidery patterns and stuff. I use them all over the place. All right, so there's a ton of little boxes in here. Um, we're gonna save that for later because there's one more box. All right. So um, I am expecting boxes today and tomorrow from Merchant and Mills, um, Kiriki Press, which I know there's several things in that box that many people have been waiting for. Um, what else is on its way? Now, Kiriki Press might be coming next week. Um, Kylie and the Machine um, is on its way. Uh, and there's some new labels that they just came out with that are really, really cute. So these are more of those 12 packs of the friction markers. There's um, lots of sashiko samplers. I did get a lot of stuff. This is the next couple of weeks. Um, there, I'm 
really, really trying to um, fill the shelves back up and restock everything. So the next couple of weeks are pretty box and arrival heavy. Um, so there's uh, several Sashiko samplers. I just placed an order last night, and now I think I need to place another. Um, so whenever that happens, because I do get this question a lot, if you finish an order and you realize, oh my goodness, I forgot something, um, email me, uh, because there is a code that I can give you that will take the shipping charges off of your second order so that um, you don't have to pay double shipping. Um, yeah. So. If you do want to place a second order, just send me a message um, and I'll send you that code so that you don't have to pay for shipping on a second order. Um, okay, what else is in here? The Tulip Bodkins are in here. These I used all the time uh, when I was making masks. Uh, you're very welcome. Um, so a bodkin is a neat little tool that helps you thread um, drawstrings, uh, elastic, all that kind of good stuff. Works really well uh, when you lose the string out of your hoodie um, and you still have it. So it looks like this, you thread the elastic cord, whatever, through the top here, um, and then you put the bodkin through the channel um, and that helps lead your cord through your channel. So when I was making uh, fabric masks, um, this is what I would use all the time to, to thread the, the tying straps um, onto there. So the uh, bodkins are in here. The ultimate marking pencils are in here. Uh, these are the ones that are iron off. So you mark uh, with them. They're made with the same uh, material that the um, quilting ponce um, pads are made with, but they're compressed into a pencil shape. Um, so you mark with this one, you iron over it, and it goes away. So those are back. More copies of the color workbook are here. Um, what else is in here? We've got some of the, oh, the pinking blades for the Ulfa cutters uh, are in here. I use that uh, when I'm prepping my embroidery pieces before I pop them into the hoop. I like to pink the um, the edges of my fabric so that it doesn't fray as much. Goodness, like I said, this is, this boxes are full and full of stuff. This is the Bowen 3-in-1 needle puller. Um, this does three different things. Uh, this little contraption down here, um, you can stick your needle into there and then you push down and it helps you tug your needle through. It works as a needle pusher as well, similar to a, um, a knuckle thimble where you can push your needle through. And then it also has a built-in thread cutter. So this is kind of a handy little tool to have. Lots and lots of the um, tulip, those are right over there. The tulip needles um, are in here. I've got restocks of those. We've got more Sashiko samplers in here. The aqua erase pens from Soline are in here. Um, these are for when uh, the clover markers that I, or pencils that I was showing you earlier that I said you can wipe away with water. These are little pens that you can fill the reservoir with water or um, water and like a drop of detergent. Um, and then it's a targeted, it, if you're trying to clean a targeted area um, of a marking pen, you can use this. It's refillable. Um, it, the little um, nibs at the top are replaceable, so if it gets too dirty, it has too much ink on it, you can replace it um, so you can keep using it. It's not um, disposable, you keep using it over and over again. So that's what these are. What else? We've got some more of the size five um, pearl cotton from Cosmo. Um, I need one of those, what is it called? That is called the Soline Aqua Eraser. Um, that's, if you type in aqua eraser, um, please repeat what they are called, the water pen thing. Let me take it out of here so you guys can see the packaging more easily. There you go. So it's called the Soline Aqua Eraser. You are welcome. All right. There are Sashiko stencils in here. There are... Um, this is the Wonder Grip 
You're welcome. You're very welcome. Um, this is the Wonder Grip thimble, uh, which you wear here and here, and it's uh, both a flat-topped thimble um, and a regular needle puller. All right. We've got some four-inch hoops, uh, which I needed, so this is great. <laughs> There's a couple of new things in here. Um, so this is one of the new ones. This is not in the shop yet. Um, I will get it up as soon as I can. This is the Easy Rip and Grip. So it's a seam ripper and a fine point tweezer all in one handy tool um, that comes in this little case. So um, you can rip out all of your seams and then when you get those annoying little um, threads that stay in there, you've got the tweezer to pull all those extra threads out. So that is uh, brand new and will go up in the shop soon. Um, yes, and so there's a bunch of other, like the other boxes, tons of little boxes in here. This is a huge, huge restock. Um, as soon as I am done with this video, I will go and get all this logged in and you'll see um, all this stuff back in the shop uh, very, very soon, within about an hour or so. Um, so that is pretty much what I have for you. Like I said, there are lots of boxes arriving daily. Um, I might end up doing another one of these on s over the weekend, maybe. Um, I'm not sure that I can wait till next Tuesday to be able to open all these boxes. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, lots of exciting and fun things. I hope to see some of you in uh, classes that are coming up soon. And uh, I will be back next week with more fun and exciting things. Um, and if ever you have, um, like Kristen sent me that message that she wants to take a look at the flighty bags, if there's anything that you would like a product demo of, um, something to look closer at, you have questions about, feel free to send me a message, uh, leave a comment, send a private message, leave a comment on YouTube, whatever. Um, I read them all and I am very happy to share whatever it is that you'd like to see. So just let me know. All right, everyone have a great day. Stay warm um, and I will see you all soon. Bye.